Hi guys and welcome to the 3rd of December. We're on the third day of our Christmas calendar challenge. Now, if you don't know the terms of the challenge to participate and be able to win some great prizes, I'm gonna leave the link for that intro video in the description box below. It might come up here as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, the challenge is a great thing for you to do, to participate and having to do 24 days of yoga, but you are also able to win some great prizes. So go that, check that out. All right, without further ado, let's go to our box and pick our card of the day. All right. Reverse Warrior 2. All right, this is gonna be nice. Okay, so we'll have a great standing warrior sequence then. Mm -hmm. For sure. So my reverse warrior, I would say I almost, almost always include, right? It's one of the really nice ones. Okay, so I have my, my extra dark. I'm gonna put this one here, you know, for our third day. It's starting to fill up. All right. Okay, and then I have my reverse warrior too, here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so to go into the reverse warrior two, I'm gonna do the warrior two before, just because it's, yeah. I like that transition. We could do other things as well, but it's just, yeah. And then to come into warrior two, I'm gonna do the crescent lunge. And then from the warrior two, I think I am going to X stand out in a triangle because I really like that pull that it has. Let's see where is my triangle. There you are. Okay. And then let's see. I will pull it into an extended side angle. I also really like the transition in these. Okay, I think that's long enough for one, one series. We're gonna try to not make them too long. I'm gonna come into this from a downward facing dog. Hmm? Right? Let's see what we do wanna do for a warm up. I think I'm gonna do we're gonna go straight to a cat cow and then we're gonna do a nice thread the needle, I think. For a warm up, just starting to warm up the spine a little bit, having a little nice twist. Hmm? Moving into it, I think maybe we'll move also through a child's pose, an active child's pose to come into our downward facing dog. We'll, we'll come into it a bit slowly and not have it be like <laughs> No, I like to do that mm -hmm. then We're gonna pedal it out and then we're gonna do this one All right, I think Then we might even just repeat the sequence and then we're gonna add some and at the end, okay? So we're gonna do the extended side angle and then I'm gonna come back into a crescent lunge, which I'm gonna have to pull out my expansion deck to get because I already used it. Let's see, all right, where are you? I know I have you, there you are, okay. And then, I am going to add a warrior three. No, we wanted that warrior series. We're gonna continue with our warriors. Hmm. Do you see, so I'm gonna do this one, and then we're gonna repeat it on the other side, and then we're gonna repeat the whole one, and then start from over here. 
And then from this, I think we're gonna come into, I really like then just coming into a, a mountain pose. So we're gonna do that. So coming into, tipping into a standing pose, right? Okay. And then we're gonna do a vinyasa. And then we're gonna repeat. <laughs> okay. So from all these standing poses, we have a little bit of opening, but not a lot of opening. Maybe we'll do a plank coming down and then let's see hmm. you know what I think it's gonna be too long I think we're just gonna do maybe we'll add a vinyasa here as well so we get some flow some warmth moving right and then I think we're gonna move straight into a little, um, we're gonna do a little um, stretch on the end, okay? So we're gonna do our low lunge and then our Yanashishasana and then I think that's it, you know? We're gonna do, let's do a happy baby. I'm afraid it's gonna get too long. Okay. And then we'll do the Shavasana. All right, you ready? Ready to sequence? Ready to go? Ready to practice? Come on. Okay, so. Come to a nice seated position and we're gonna take just a moment to land on our mat. Closing down our eyes and then taking a moment to connect with our breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then we're gonna move into a cat cow. Just gonna take this one. And then we're gonna come in here, wrists over shoulders, knees beneath our hips. And we're gonna start our cat and cow. So exhale, rounding the spine, shooting your back up, navel towards the spine. And then inhale as you start to sway your back, coming up vertebrae by vertebrae into cow. Exhale, rounding your back, starting with your tailbone, cat, and then cow. Starting at the tailbone and going slowly all the way up. Last time, coming into cat, exhaling, and inhale, Cow. Coming back to neutral. Inhale, releasing the right arm up towards the sky. And then exhale as we twist towards the left. Now remember here to have your weight on your legs and on your shoulder and not on your head. Inhale to come all the way back up with your arm and then exhale. Place the hand back on your mat. Inhale, the left hand goes up. Exhale, threading that needle.
Inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale. Palm on the mat. We're going to tuck our toes. And then push back in active child's pose. Pushing the mat away from us. And then we're going to move slowly up into our downward facing dog. And you can pedal out your dog for a moment. Bending your knees. Moving a little bit here. And we're going to inhale, releasing the right leg, pulling it in towards our nose, and then coming in to our crescent lunge. Exhale as we open up to warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, flip your palm, reverse that warrior. Inhale as you reach even further up, extending the front leg and coming into a triangle. Scissors crossing, right? Now take that upper arm, sway it backwards as you start to bend your front leg and let it come forward and into extended side angle. Now you can have your underarm here as well, or here, or use a block. And then we're gonna come all the way back. Coming down, downward facing dog, moving through our vinyasa. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Now we're going to do the other side. So releasing that left leg, pulling it in towards our nose so that we can place it gently down in between our, our palms. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, flip that palm and bring it back to reverse warrior. Now inhale as you reach even further up, extending that front leg and then tipping over into your triangle. Now here, remember, we have one wall in front of us and one behind and it's pressing in and we're in the middle. Now inhale, reaching further up and then letting the upper arm come backwards as we start to bend, bringing it into extended side angle. You can have it on your thigh you can reach out if you want to challenge or come down. I'm going to reach back, coming into high lunge, placing the hands down, downward facing dog, into chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Now we're gonna take one second here. And then we're gonna start the sequence again. And then we're gonna add our two, three extra asanas at the end. So inhale, releasing that right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, pulling it through. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, 
reach up, tipping into your triangle. Inhale, coming into extended side angle. Maybe challenge yourself. You can lift that bottom arm. Inhale, coming back to your high lunge. But now instead of going back to downward facing dog, we're gonna shift the weight forward and then come into our warrior three. You're gonna stay here for five breaths. Now you can have your hands wherever it feels comfortable for you. And now we're gonna tip in to our mountain pose. And then we're gonna move through our vinyasa. So inhale. Coming up, exhale, all the way down. Inhale to elongate, exhale to step back. Inhale to stay, exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment. And then inhale the left leg, exhale, pull it, knee to nose, and then place it down. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale, word. Inhale, flip the palm, exhale, reverse warrior two. Inhale to reach up and tipping into your triangle. Inhale, reach up, letting the back the hand come forward, extended side angle. Maybe give yourself a challenge or not. Inhale, high lunge. Now instead of coming to a downward facing dog, yes, we're going into the warrior tree. So shifting our weight forward. And staying for five breaths. And exhale. Mountain. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to elongate. And exhale to step out. Inhale to stay. And exhale to come all the way down. Inhale to come up. And exhale. Downward facing dog. And then we're gonna release the right leg. And coming in to a low lunge. Releasing the knee down and then coming up with our upper body and exhale as we start releasing forward. Inhale to come up. And exhale, push back and come to a seated, releasing the leg onto the side. Inhale to sit up tall and exhale, fold all the way forward. Make it comfortable, this one. Don't, don't push too hard.
Inhale to help yourself back up to seated. And then we're gonna pull the knee in. We're gonna move back and then coming into our down facing dog. Releasing the left foot, bringing it in between the palms of our hands. Releasing that right knee down, untucking the toes, coming up. On an inhale and then releasing forward on our exhale. Making sure that our hips are square and we're opening on the front side of the right. Inhale to come all the way back up, pressing down on the foot. Helping with your hands, coming all the way back to a seated. Release the right leg out to the side. Inhale to sit up tall. And exhale. Fold forward. As always, keep the forward fold nice and gentle. Inhale, use your hands to help you back up. And then we're gonna place the foot down, moving back, doing maybe your last downward facing dog, pedaling for a little bit if you want. And then we're gonna come down to seated and then Roll all the way down. You can help with your hands behind your thighs if you want. We're going to bring our knees towards our chest and then opening up into happy baby. Taking a hold of our feet, pressing the lower back into the mat. And then maybe massaging for a bit. Rolling from side to side. Now inhale the feet back together. And then release down into a Shavasana. Let go of the controlling of your breath. And just let it come back to its rhythm. Now inhale your arms up overhead, going for a nice good stretch. And then come over to your side. And help yourself gently up to whichever seated position is comfortable for you. Now, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed this practice and the ones before. And... Um, Remember to participate in the challenge. You want to win those prizes and I will see you again tomorrow. Go and have a beautiful day.